Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. We're uh, going to be doing some live trading here. So uh, let me get the disclaimer up. Uh, let's see, first of all, we're targeting $1,000 in the session, uh, trading five lots on the NQ or the YM. What I teach here, you, you can apply to any market, whether it be futures, Forex, or stocks. And of course, if a thousand a day is not enough, you increase your position size or go for a greater profit per um, uh, per contract you trade. Now, if there is a risk in trading, don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. And of course, please feel free to read the disclaimer. Now, we're only um, 15 minutes away from the uh, Frankfurt open so it's 1 45 a.m. Central Standard Time I am on the four tick NQ now this is great for the four tick during uh, the Globex session that is the after hours market but once you get to the uh, end or towards the end of a London session leading into New York the four tick is far too fast you need to jump up to the eight or the 12 tick and of course you can use tick charts time based charts etc so I'm just going to pause the video until we get set up okay traders so now I've made a, a uh, new lower low so uh, this white line here this is the prior day's close let's see if I can get a bit of a bounce here this is the low of the day okay that's from midnight so a few hours ago so let's see if we can get a rebound up here and a potential short entry so traders I'm in a uh, little momentum trade here what I call a rule of one entry so uh, my target is on the other side of the low of day I've got a 14 tick stop so uh, I'm now at break even look I'm going to uh, lift my stop back up so you can see there I went to break even because usually you'll find when we've got good momentum will break through this is the low of a session since midnight so I'm looking at um, getting down to this low which is what we call seven steps or 16 ticks which is uh, here we are come on a few more ticks for me so look I'm not going to give all of that back there we are target filled thank you very much so that was uh, $400 less commission so that's 379.10 in that move so that was uh, what we call a rule of one with a slingshot just there so uh, I'll put this on hold and look for our next trade so we can see we're making new lower lows I've got divergence uh, here on my entry chart I don't have any divergence on the anchor chart uh, one or two one two three I'm just uh, quickly seeing whether I've got a t what we call a t3 setup now in a fast moving market a t3 which is a reversion to the mean setup can you know that they can be a bit trickier at times but let's just I'm just going to quickly work this out uh, one two two three four yeah look this could be a potential uh, reversion to the mean trade so I'll just see how we go here just pause the video a moment so traders I have got in this um, uh, t3 I got in actually quite late so uh, we'll just see how we go I might get to break even quite early on this one uh, so this is a uh, reversion to the mean come on I, I am now I am at break even so uh, there we go so we did get filled on that one thank you very much so that was uh, a, a reversion to the mean type trade also uh, I call that a t3 now I do have a potential short here uh, I'm going to sit this one out so uh, I'm just going to pause the video we are up 758.20 on five contracts so I just need really one more one more full trade we do have a short look we could come back down to the uh, to the low here but I'm just going to sit this out. I've got a lot of angulation. If you're wondering why I'm not taking this, this is called angulation. 
just here so I just um, prefer to sit this one out for members watching this this is a t10 I'm not going to uh, look I'm gonna look I always hesitate when we get up to this level uh, up to the 89 because quite often we'll get a 2b reversal off here um, so look I'll I'm gonna hang in on this one I'll bring leave my stop where it is okay so now I'm at break even uh, here we go come on get back up there a bit higher I'm not going to give too much away here uh, I am trailing look I've, I've brought my stop up I may get a reverse and get stopped out here uh, there we are so yeah so a little bit of a reversal so that's what we call a t10 just there that was a t10 so uh, you may notice <laughs> I've got codes for all of the uh, all of my setups it just makes it easy now this is always can be frustrating here when we uh, exit a trade and and uh, then it reverses and would have filled us completely so we'll just um, hang on in here and we'll just wait for our next setup so we're up at 9 27 30 and for members watching this this is a, uh, a rule of one you've got here usually we'll come up and get a bounce up there at the uh, 200 so we'll, and just up above there you've got yesterday's close so we'll just uh, see what happens here so I'm just going to pause the video so we can see here we've had quite a solid move up there in fact um, we had a potential entry just there look I just decided to uh, sit this out whoops and look I am going short here I am going short here so um, I've decided to uh, this is basically um, it's look it's not an 80 20 trade so I'll just bring my stop down fairly quickly here okay come on get me down and actually in fact we could easily bounce here I should have locked that in a little bit earlier to see if I can tick down a wee bit more now the danger of course in waiting is it comes up and takes me out but I can always go for another trade okay so uh, see if I can tick down come on get me back down that's it one more tick please there we go that's it okay come on bit more bit more come on there we go we're out of that trade so traders we are up um, what's that so that's uh, 1255 but uh, after commissions where are we here let me just um it's 1171.40 so that was a, a an interesting uh, trade here and so what we had was some um, big picture divergence just there so big picture divergence and on the anchor chart one let's have a look at this here so on the anchor chart one now I don't always use fib levels okay it's not a core part no it's a quite a deep pullback but what I was looking at with this particular trade we had such a deep pullback on the anchor chart one just here so quite a deep pullback and so when we've got a pullback like that it's a bit like um, a down here this t1 uh, sorry this t3 I took down here remember when I took this trade I said it was a reversion to the mean so all of this and by the way this is a 2b we were uh, just missing here but I've already hit my target now 1171.40 now all of that was over and done with within um, what's that 18 minutes or less and just there that is what we call uh, is it a 3b yes it is a 3b so for members watching this why is this a 3b well look at your entry chart look at your anchor chart one and look at your anchor chart two okay so you've got to bounce off the 200 EMA just there so that was just a, a nice little sweet trading session um, uh, so I'm up uh, 
yeah so my target is generally a thousand per session I like to get that now down under in Australia that's really good money that's seven and a half thousand a week by the way you do that consistently now just um, look here we've got a potential little uh, double top here so we'll see what happens here no real divergence now good possibility will continue now up to the high of day now what you usually find is we what we call stair step you go up you pull back you go up you pull back so we'll just watch for a moment and then I'm going to finish I'm not going to trade uh, any more trades today I've hit my target it is by the way uh, 5 17 p.m. in my part of the world so it's good to get in get out get paid I, I call it getting the cash register to ring so let's just uh, wait and see if we can get a retreat now that's a slightly higher high only by a couple of ticks let's see if we get a bounce here now on the anchor chart too we do have divergence but you've got a lot of support here so for members watching this let me show you this okay so we can see here on our MACD you've got divergence your EMAs are flat and you've got a double top okay so we'll just see what happens here so one thing I want you to remember is to say to yourself is it an 80 20 trade in other words have you got an 80 percent chance of making money now out of that we had one two uh, where are we three four out of four again just here you don't have to take every trade does it meet the rules now here our EMAs are in an uptrend it would have been nice if I had a even higher high that makes me concerned here about this potential reversal and you can see that there a little double top here you've got divergence and yes now and just so you know for those that are not members when I've got a divergence trade what I like to look at is the distance between my reversal and the and the major moving average you see that just here this is what we call angulation when you've got great angulation like that right it's just like pulling back an elastic band you're much more likely to get a slingshot back the other way when you're right on your EMAs we want to be a lot more cautious with our entries okay because we're selling into support or resistance in fact let me just show you something let me pull this up just be a moment by the way here's this um, potential two or three B long that's slightly higher high higher high higher low higher high higher low again but um, I'll pause this I'm looking for something to show you okay traders so this is what I want to show you is you need to check regularly where are the pivot levels where are the prior days open high low and close levels where are your major EMAs particularly your 89 and 200 EMAs on any time frame because they act, tend to act as major support resistance levels but uh, also price magnets our intraday swing highs and lows for current days high and low why because they will act as price magnets and particularly on oil if you trade the Texas T uh, you've got to really watch your round numbers particularly uh, 81 a barrel 80 79 those are round numbers but also the 20 50 and 80 cent levels because they can also be major support resistance levels now we've actually got a whole setup here called the t28 where we buy and sell into these levels okay uh, where you can sell into your pivots uh, into your major EMAs but what I like to see generally is a good distance there so um, I'm pretty certain I went to break even there did I not so as you so you can sell when you're close to your major EMAs or when you're close to a pivot uh, you can sell at those levels or buy but just get ready to get to break even just in case you bounce off those levels because they they're, they're magnets they they become what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them uh, and for members watching this yes that is a 3b now what's ahead of us so up here we've got the high of the trading session so usually we will what we call stair step 
now let's remember today traders that uh, in what do we got here it's now in about six hours time we do have the non farm payroll report so the non farm payroll report uh, can be um, a very tricky leading up to that that is the market can be a little choppy sometimes it speeds up so you just want to be aware whenever you've got a major red news announcement okay and I may as well just show you this as well so traders um, uh, there's two websites that uh, I review every day and so and and uh, the first one is a Connor day okay so we can see here oh and we've got at 8 a.m. we've got Michael Barr from the Fed speaking gee we've got a few uh, Fed speakers so here at uh, 8 30 then we've got the ISM services now even though it's there as a um, as a green flag uh, and you've got the red don't be fooled sometimes the green flags can um, uh, really be a, ma a major market mover as well now because we're trading during the Globex session we always want to check Forex factory now Forex factory uh, which is um, just not for Forex traders come on come up it's just a bit slow and let me just perhaps close that and reopen uh, this here so Forex factory uh, is great if you trade the after hours market 633 uh, let me just make sure I've got just quickly adjust this so you can adjust the time frame uh, to match your computer clock so if I go down here I'm um, down to way down here right where are we just down to here so it'll tell me what's coming out during this session now we can see it's 7 30 a.m. I've got my computer clock sent set to uh, Central Standard Time we can see we've got the uh, uh, the employment change so this is big news okay and down here at 9 a.m. you've got the ISM now even though uh, if I remember correctly it was listed there as a green flag uh, just be aware that can be very very tricky okay um, and if you're a, a member go to the coaching folder one and you will find the pocketbook of economic indicators what's important traders is, is that you become a student of the market you don't have to you know be fanatical you mean you don't you know this isn't rocket science it's about learning patterns but it really is it's just about pattern recognition okay but you've got to become a student of the market and just getting to know a few basics such as red flags because we've got what we call the non-negotiables that we practice some um, every day now those non-negotiables and if you're not a member I'll just quickly mention that our power making sure mentally you're in the right place checking your red flag news we've got to do that every day regularly checking these levels okay and what I do how I do that I'll just scroll my chart up and down to do those um, reviewing our labeled or marked up charts and for that this is it and to, to put this this is a pattern solving exercise so just to show you just here um, and this had I had no intention of showing you this but this is what we call I set up off uh, what we call a hidden channel you don't have to learn hidden channels and fib levels and whatever but as you become more advanced it is interesting okay and what it can do is just give you some hints in trading in the direction of the trend um, trading uh, and this is for a training session I'm doing with members trading what we call the rule of one okay using rule of one entries okay but by reviewing your charts your label charts uh, it just just helps remind you exactly what you're looking for when you're trading so traders look hopefully there's some um, some tips here look if you're not already a member of, of um, I'm a day trader.com click on the link below if $197 you get all of my uh, indicators now for members I'm sorry to whack an, an ad in here I know you'll be interested uh, in this video but if you're not a member come and join us um, in my coaching sessions and uh, I also run a live trading room as well now just here we do have a potential 3b setting up 
again here now in 34 minutes just note how flat our major EMAs are here by the way and in 34 minutes we've got the London open so uh, in in uh, 33 minutes now and the reason I bring that up we can quite often go into a chop period before we have a major open so this just might be a good time to sit on hands okay see this here this is a long-term stochastic see how it's in between the 80 80 20 area this is what I call no man's land so that's a bit of a heads up but also that white line as I mentioned is yesterday's close so you've got major EMAs all um, basically uh, horizontal at yesterday's close so with this here good time just to sit on hand so traders um, if you're not a member hopefully I see you uh, uh, in the coaching room if you are members uh, well hopefully you got something out of the uh, entry seat and just there we did have a rule of one by the way I was very tempted to take this one but I was so close to the 200 I decided against it and it you can see there it did rally up traders we don't have to take every trade look for the best of the best thanks traders